Look at this. Nodes 2. It's a sequel. <laughs> it's not so much of a sequel that the uh, post-it notes fell off my monitor. Uh, so I missed a couple of points in the last video. So uh, we're now in the nodes 2. Okay, we're back to this shape now that we had before. Uh, and one of the things I didn't really make clear in the last video is that I did point out that you actually could have nodes, although the, there's no node showing there, or no node showing there, that, um, sorry, just switching that volume down a bit, I've got a bit of buzz, um, there's no node showing there, and there's no node showing there, there's actually nodes there, um, because we know there's a node there, because we've got the little eight, whatever you call them, stretchy pointy things but here we've got this point telling us that's where the line starts because it is a line it's just one line down here one line on layer two um, it tells us that that's where it starts but when we go into the um, shape editor tool there's no node showing up there and I'm, I also know that there's two nodes down here which aren't showing um, so how can you get over that I mean one of the ways you can do it is actually click on any one of the nodes and then click on the tab button. And what you actually do is start to tab through each node as you go along. So, okay, we're back to there we are now. And as I say, if you actually look at that, you would say there was four nodes on it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's actually eight nodes in that shape. Um, so that's a handy thing to know as well. That's the tab button. You can click any, it doesn't matter where you click, you can click any, on any node you want and just click on tab, tab. And I su suppose I'll just give this a test. If we hit on the shift, tab, 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 it just goes in reverse. Yeah, um, which is pretty obvious. So that's, that's, that's worthwhile knowing. Um, the other thing is, sorry, there's still a whistle in this. I'm just going to try and just turn this volume down a touch. Hope that's better. So, I, ca I can't get very good volume uh, control on these videos at all, I'm afraid. So I do apologise for that. Um, so yeah, um, well, I'm going to go down to wireframe here now, and I'm going to zoom in. Um, And here we are, zoomed in to, let's zoom in really big and see where we get to 9,000%, you know, uh, that, that's a good zoom value, isn't it? Uh, it's one of the beauties of uh, Edzara, it's been doing that for years, zooming into that, that zoom level is fantastic. Um, anyway, you go back here and you can actually then get hold of these different points and see where they are. Um, zoom out to 100%. In that wireframe, click on them. You can't see where those overlap. Um, it's something you've got to bear in mind. Um, I'm not making myself very clear, and it doesn't help when we post the notes fall on the floor and all the rest of it. But I hope that's uh, of some value to you anyway. Um, so remember, you can use the, the tab key to go around. You can select the node, use the tab key to go around, and that will often find hidden nodes for you that, that don't actually show up just when you click on the shape editor tool. All right, cheers. Hope that was helpful.